Hello everyone and welcome to the Brandon Breakdown on this Tuesday, June 11th, 2013. And it has been, I think actually my last video was May 10th. I'm not sure about that. So about a month-ish. <laughs> Which, hey, that's a lot closer than my uh, video before that to that one, so hey. But this video actually had specific stuff I wanted to talk about. Video games! Yeah, it's gonna be a video game. If you don't care about video games, just click away or whatever. It's just gonna be me giving my thoughts on the next generation of consoles, which will... Uh, well, the Xbox and the, the Microsoft console and the Sony console will be launching this fall, but I mean, technically Nintendo has already launched their console, the Wii U, which is apparently doing terribly. I want one, but there's like four games for it that are any good that anyone can speak of, but and that makes me sad because I uh, grew up with Nintendo. But today was the beginning of E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo, and uh, it's the biggest gaming event of the year so to speak. I, I can't think of another one. There's PAX, and uh, DICE, and that's more of a developer's conference, and there's like four Tokyo Game Show, there's a couple more, but some very uh, exciting information in the from the Sony camp today. I know there's people out there that watch my videos that don't like Sony. They're just dumb. Anyway. Kidding. Let's me. Uh, let's let's start off with what Microsoft did. Microsoft came out. Uh, their conference was first today. Uh, theirs was at like f three in the afternoon. PS3 wasn't until like nine at night. But uh, they had some cool games. They announced uh, uh, Dead Rising Three. I loved Dead Rising Two, and apparently it's going to be exclusive to Xbox One, which I think is really stupid because the second game, Dead Rising Two was multi-platform, so on both PS3 and Xbox 360. And, but, I mean, Dead Rising 1 was an Xbox 360 exclusive. The second one, they remedied that and made it a multi-platform game, which I enjoyed. I have it over there. I played, uh, I played it quite a bit. It's pretty damn fun. So then, oh, we're just gonna buy the rights again and make it an exclusive, so... That pissed me off. But other than that, I didn't really... There, there was a new game from uh, Respawn Entertainment, which was old, uh, made up of old Infinity Ward members, which, it looks cool, pretty entertaining, it's another, uh, another game I would like to play, but then again, it's an Xbox exclusive, so I'll probably never touch it, and, uh, the one thing that, I well, if you found out there was a conference for Xbox they had, I believe, in May, I don't remember the exact day, it was just a few weeks ago, really, where Xbox talked about how there were, there's a lot of blu a lot of buzz a lot of buzz about um, always online uh, people do not want it uh, the gaming industry in my opinion and in this aspect is completely falling apart uh, there's games that have single player modes that you're just, you just play by yourself but you have to be connected to the internet i.e. Diablo 3 and uh, SimCity 2013, and that is just complete and total horseshit, and I know it's to, like, combat piracy and blah blah blah, bullshit, bullshit, and it's just, all it does is impede gaming, and it just pisses me off, and that's what everyone was worried about the next generation of consoles, since you've been seeing that a lot on PC, oh god, what's gonna, oh fuck, what's gonna happen with the next generation of consoles, is every uh, console going to require you to be online all the time? Are you going to have to have a constant internet connection? Because that's another thing. These games, they require a constant internet connection to play. I know, who, are, who in the right mind in this day and age doesn't have internet, right? Am I right? What a bunch of idiots. But there are people that just don't have internet. They just don't have it. Either they choose not to have it, or they don't have very good internet at all and they only, like, use it for work or something, or if they absolutely need to get online, 
and they don't have like great internet, and these games like require you to have it, and what if the internet goes out? What if the internet is out in your area for like a few days? Well, because I'm not playing the game that I just bought or whatever, <laughs> it requires me to be online. It's just, it's horseshit. And, uh, neither the PS3, or PS3, PS4, or the Xbox One will require you to be always connected to the internet. But the Xbox One will require your system to check in every, like, 24 hours or whatever. Or something, or else it'll, like, shut down, is what I heard. I, I'm trying to find out all this information I'm getting, like, today. And I, that's... Either it doesn't... It may not shut down, but... But then what else would it do? I don't understand. It, it I do know that it will... Has to it does have to check in every 24 hours. It has to like be connected to an internet connection at least once every 24 hours to check in is the term they used. And I don't fucking understand what the purpose of that is. But then again, that raises the same questions. Oh, what if I don't have internet? Am I is my Xbox gonna like shut off and I can't fucking play? Or my game's not gonna work? And there was rumor about a lot of people are concerned about used game. Uh, there uh, there was a lot of rumor about used game fees. And I'm not sure if Xbox is going to require you to pay a fee. Because a, a lot of the gaming industry's money comes from... People get their games. Okay, I played it, I'm bored. Sell it back to GameStop for like 32 cents. You get your 32 cents and then GameStop can resell it for like $50. And then that $50, none of that goes to the original developer of the game. That all goes to GameStop. So used game fees would be uh, their way of being able to make sure that the developers and the publishers, blah 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 can get the money that they deserve for their game, burp, 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 burp. and that's similar to like what online passes are the last few years if you buy a game and it has a multiplayer component and you bought it used and you didn't know that you go home and it's like, please enter your online pass, which was already used probably by the person who returned to the game, most likely so then you gotta buy another ten dollar, just uh, just in for just a code so it can download so you can access the online features of the game which is total horseshit something I also don't agree with and thankfully EA Electronic Arts is getting rid of that and because they the people hate it people absolutely can't stand it so why would you keep something that your uh, custom consumer base would just and, no it's fucking bullshit don't want to do it no let's keep doing it no 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 it's cool so I actually, usually EA does pretty evil shit, you know, corporations, uh, devil horns. But that was pretty slick, and I was very uh, happy, hopefully other, because there's lots of other publishers that have online passes, unfortunately, not just EA. So I hope other people follow suit and realize that it's total horseshit, and it really just kills the gaming industry. Because when I find a, a game that's used, I'm like, oh, hey, I might want to pick that up. I pick it up, and then I see that, oh, it requires an online pass. Well, I'm not fucking buying that. I'm not paying uh, the cheap price for the used game, then still having to pay another fucking $10 just for the online pass. That It's just, that's horseshit. I'm sorry. Because then, like... It negates the discount of buying the used game half the time. It's like, hey, it's only $50. Well, I get home, I have to pay $10 online pass anyway, so I guess I could have just bought the game new and saved myself the trouble. Anyway, PS3 will not put any restrictions on used games, for sure. And there will be... A, there's a lot of people afraid that when you buy games anymore, or any form of electronic entertainment media, blah, blah, blah. That you don't really own it. You're just sort of purchasing the right to play it and that if anything goes wrong at any time or if they choose, the people who made it can be like, well, you're not playing that anymore. Fuck you. Fuck the money you gave us. But there's apparently nothing like that on the PS3. I don't know about the Xbox. Uh, I don't think so. That would, in my opinion, the console would die if that were true. But I do know that they have the online check-in bullshit. And I'm not sure about used game fees, but PlayStation will not have that. And that was a huge... Everyone was, like, cheering. Oh, it was like a standing ovation. Everyone was so happy about that. And uh, I was extremely happy. And then the price point was extremely exciting because the Xbox One will retail this fall for $499, $500, which is still... I mean, that's that's a lot of money. But PS3, when that launched, that was $5.99, and I still bought one like a dumbass. 
And I don't remember what Xbox 360 was when it came out. Certain, I think it was like 399 or something, not 499. But X or PlayStation 4 is going to launch 399, a whole hundred dollars cheaper, and uh, it's just as powerful of a console. In my opinion, it has much better games. No stupid ass uh, check in every 24 hours with the internet connection. Um, no possibility of used game fees, and it's just. I'm so happy. I could not be happier. Uh, Sony clearly blew it out of the water. Just blew the entire conference out of the water. And there's still a few days left in E3, but I really think they completely nailed it and told gamers what they want to hear. And it certainly told me what I want to hear. And uh, I think Xbox is, well, it'll obviously succeed. And it'll probably do well. It's going to have great games. It's going to have a lot to offer. But from what I'm hearing so far, it's pissing a lot of people off with the choices that Microsoft has been making, but this is a pretty long video. If anybody watched this, uh, you are a champ, but I'll probably have more to talk about this later in the week. It's an exciting week in the gaming world, and I'm such a nerd, but uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.